Hi guys, Mr. Rufflewuffles here. Today we're going to be talking about something that I've wanted to talk about all year, but haven't really felt like I've had enough meat and potatoes behind the theory in order to actually do, okay? So let's do a quick recap of the events I'm going to be talking about in the context of the Red Scarf. In the Black Ops 3 campaign's terminal, there is a Red Scarf mentioned. Specifically, there is mention of a man in Walcourt, Belgium, and it says, go find the man with the red scarf. It's an order, it's imperative. It says, find the man with the red scarf and tell him the giant has risen. Epic stuff. So at the time, people are going, okay, the giant has risen. That's a sort of zombies quote, but then it's in the campaign terminal. So is it a campaign related thing or what's going on here? I was thinking, you know what? Why don't I just go to Belgium and actually ask the damn man myself? And I might still do that, to be honest, seeing as this video has got the information that it does in it, but I digress. That came up in the terminal. It was there, it was found, and people were scratching their heads going, boy, this is interesting. Then, in probably around January, Joe Trocious, I believe, tweeted me a video and he said, Yo Milo, I've got an idea. In Origins, there's a red scarf. There's a red bit of cloth tied to a pole by the Pack-a-Punch area, just a flapping in the wind. Oh my goodness me, that is a large wasp. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to just keep on going. That thing is going to die for me in a moment, but we're going to keep this commentary going right now because I can't afford to do this again because I'm on the fourth take. I've been trying and trying, and the damn wasps just won't leave me alone. I don't know what's going on, but regardless, the digression will cease right now as the wasp just flies around the room. Blimey, that thing is big. Okay, so in Origins, there is a red scarf flapping around and it's tied to a pole. That was something that I thought was a cool theory, but it didn't really feel like it had enough substance behind it for me to post a video on it. That's just the judgment that I made at the time. Then, in Zetsubo no Shima, we see another red scarf. Peculiar, this. We've seen another one. Phone, stop vibrating. Jesus. We see another red scarf, and this particular one really does look like a scarf. It's actually in sort of scarf form. It's tied at the front, and it's just sitting on a box by the spider's lair. And then... Around the advent of Gorod Crovey, we see the one and only Dr. Monty for the first time, and he is wearing a red scarf. Boom. What the hell? Treyarch, what have you done? You have brought forth an Easter egg from not just the beginning of Black Ops 3, with that onset of this mystery with the red scarf in the terminal, but it's actually been around since Origins? Are you mad? Is this really happening? And still, even then, I was skeptical. I was like, in Origins, it's just a cloth. In Zet, it's just maybe something that, I don't know, maybe someone's cleaning their saxophone with it. Like, I don't know. This thing could be a coincidence. But the reason I'm making this video is as follows. In the Revelations panel that Treyarch did, that was Jason Blundell, Craig Houston, and John Raffers from Treyarch at not Comic-Con, at COD XP this year, a couple days ago, a question was asked, which was the following. I saw that Dr. Monty has a red scarf. Is that red scarf the same scarf we see in Origins? And if so, should we look more into it? Jason's response pretty much instantly was yes. Now then, important thing to note here. That panel is not available online. And simply because it wasn't allowed to be recorded, it wasn't allowed to be posted or anything, it wasn't posted anywhere at the time, it wasn't broadcast, it's private. It was a private event for a specific few people who managed to get into it and were able to basically get themselves a seat because they bought the like prestige version of the Codex P wristband or they queued up for a while to get in or whatever it was. It was a private event at Codex P, public event, but private event, it was behind closed doors, and it was meant to be such that it would be lost forever to the ages sort of thing once it had happened. It was a one-time unique opportunity, and this is one of the questions that was asked, and Jason Blundell felt comfortable confirming something from the Black Ops 3 zombie storyline that he never confirms. He never says yes to things, and yet in this particular case, he says that the man with the red scarf, known as Dr. Monty, Hello, so nice to see all of you. That man has a scarf that also appeared in Origins. 
which in my mind is real mind-blown material. This is the thing that Joe was theorizing about so many months ago. This is the thing that people were theorizing about for Origins, for the map, I think it's like Harvest or Combine or something, I don't know the name of the map, I can't really remember, but there's an MP map with like a red cloth in it, that could be a red scarf as well. Also obviously Zetsubo no Shima. This is a running theme now. What the hell are you doing, Treyarch? Why? Why does Dr. Monty have his scarf off and just flapping about in Origins? Why is it there? Monty says that he had to step in after Origins, because we opened the portal in France and it was afterwards that he had to step in. So why is his scarf already around? What's going on there? Now, a theory that I saw from Undersky1107 that I thought was really cool, okay? What if the Shadow Man from the Origins recap trailer, so we see at the end of the Origins recap trailer, we see the Shadow Man in tentacly form and he basically is sort of zapping Rictophan seemingly, and he's got this keeper neck piece around his neck, which I noticed and I mentioned in my breakdown and made quite a big deal of because it's specifically a keeper neck piece and the Shadow Man is an Apothecon, but anyway, Undersky says, what if the Shadow Man from the Origins recap trailer is Monty and Red Scarf is hiding the Keeper necklace? I love this idea. This is so damn cool. What if there are two versions of this sort of envoy of the alien races that we've seen in Black Ops 3? There's the Shadow Man and there's Monty. They're definitely pitted against each other, but what if they're actually of the same sort of form, this tentacly alien monster, one is just the regular Shadow Man that we're very much used to, and he wears his suit and he looks very proper, and the other has this keeper neck piece because he isn't the Shadow Man who is sided with the Apothecons, but rather he's Dr. Monty allied with the Keepers. So on the one hand you have Apothecon Envoy, the Shadow Man, Harbinger of Doom, and on the other hand you've got Dr. Monty who is trying to preserve the universe's balance and being very Keepery because he's an envoy of the Keepers. It would make so much sense because Monty's purpose, his motivation, still a mystery still completely unknown. But if this was the case, if his scarf was hiding that keeper sort of brooch on his neck, then in that case, we would know what he was doing this all for. Because he's trying to preserve the universe for the Keepers, who we know to be the same race as the Apothecons, but they split up so many years ago. The Keepers sort of won, the Apothecons lost, they were banished to beneath creation, the dark ether which leeches from the rest of creation. What if Dr. Monty is just doing what Keepers do, and trying to preserve the status quo? I love that idea. Undersky, great job, awesome theory. Joe, great job, you were correct with your theory so many months ago. Jason, great job, you've got us all talking about what the hell this red scarf is, and hopefully you guys will be saying, Milo, good job, I liked the video and so I'm going to click the like button. Thanks for watching, I've been Mr. Waffles, and I'll see you guys next time to hopefully explain this when we get more info about it in DLC 4. Bye bye.